Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10, I think, yeah, of the Lego Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, just a little bit of an update. Uh, to, so, yeah, well, hope everyone's doing okay. And the weekend is here, so yay, that's that's a good update. The Olympics are exciting. Uh, anyone watching? Uh, man, I'm, I just love track and field uh, in general. And there's just a lot of stuff happening, you know, like... Uh, like the 400 hurdles on, on both men and women and and 200 meters. Ah, this last couple of days been insane. I've been watching too much TV, honestly. But tomorrow, uh, I am doing a, a 31, 32, 33 mile run around Manhattan, around the perimeter. So I'm kind of excited for that. And by tomorrow, I mean in five hours or six hours. So yeah, so I might miss the contest tomorrow, or, but I will probably do it a little bit later. So don't, don't worry, it'll be there eventually. But, uh, but yeah, uh, so let's get this out of the way so I could go get at least a little bit of sleep before that. And so let's go. 959 regions cut by slashes. Okay, so we have an N by N grid, one by one uh, square of you know diagonal slashes or a blank space. These characters divide the square into contiguous regions. Given the grid, we turn the number of regions. Note that backslash. So, okay, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, what does this mean? Oh, okay, I see. Um, I mean, there are a couple of ways to do this one, or, or like, I did this one or similar ideas. I probably have done this one, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, it is kind of, um, definitely it is kind of potentially weird, but um, let me, let me bring up my drawing board real quick, because I think this is going to be a drawing thing here, right? Uh, so. Uh, unfortunately, maybe this is not a fast video. Hang on, I drop my pen. Uh. <laughs> this is what happens when you do things like, oh. but uh, you know, uh, do, 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 do. okay. So the, so now we basically have some ideas of okay. Let's draw draw rift outlines. I think these examples are a little bit confusing. Maybe not that confusing, but. It, it would be nice to have some outlines anyway. So we have basically uh, the first one we have four by four, right? Or two by two, sorry, a force. <laughs> oh, that got destroyed when it's not. So then now we have one line and one line, and then now we have the two regions, right? Maybe I should use a different color. Hang on, that because that's just confusing. So yeah, so we have one line and then one line, and you have two regions, and then so that's example one. Example two is just this, and then so you only have one region. Uh, and then you have example three, which is this, right? Okay. And you have one, two, three, four, five regions. Okay. I mean, I think the idea here is a foot fill. Um, but if you don't do foot fill in a easy, like it's very easy to mess up, or well, not mess up, just um, uh, implement this suboptimally. And I don't even mean complexity wise, right? I mean that it is easy to mess this up complexity wise, just or uh, um, in terms of implementation complexity. Because you can definitely write something with a lot of if statements and stuff like this. I think the way that uh, uh, I will try to think about it is try to divide this into pieces that um, that we can think about a little bit more directly, right? And I don't know that... Um, hmm, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, so the idea is going to be foot fill or um, connect the components, if you will, and kind of just, you know, connect them together. Uh, which you can do with a number of algorithms that we'll talk about. But then the idea here is that we have to kind of, um, yeah, think about how to represent this in a way such that implementation is easier. But like one idea that you might have, for example, is just, you know, drawing, um, like connecting by corners or something like this. Like here, here, this no longer connects, right? Um, and here, here kind of connects, but then you have to be careful because this connects to this, and obviously this is disconnected from this, right? So there are definitely a lot of nuance in how to implement it. I think there is an idea that I'm trying to, f uh, uh, that is, you know, is similar to this, but I, I'm trying to remember how to do it. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I have an idea. So one one way to think about it is just try to figure out what what this line represents to us, right? These red lines. And one way to do it is separate it by nine, uh, or divide it by in, in the part of threes, right? And what does that this do? 
because it just looks exactly the same. But now instead of that, now you can fill in the red boxes, right? So now this is filled in, this is filled in, this is filled in. And then what do you do? Basically, you're creating an approximation of the line. And apparently using just nine boxes for each one real box is good enough because then now this gives you the, the property that you want, right? Which is that here is not connected to here. Um, here is not connected to, uh, and is not connected to here. And then you just kind of just draw these things in. You have one color and then, you know, you have two colors, three colors, four colors and five colors and so forth, right? So that's basically what I'm going to try to do. Um, it's... I, I mean, I, I don't know if there's like an idea for this um, or like, I don't know if there's a name for this idea. I guess maybe it's just like calling it pixels because I think if you kind of look at here, right? Look at the example one, um, you can even kind of see that the line is not perfectly a straight line because of the anti-aliasing for some reason, uh, right? Because, uh, you know, if you zoom in really big. Okay, maybe that's as big as I can zoom it in apparently. But you can see that like they're just dots, right? So maybe by that token, you could kind of think of it that way. And then this is what we'll do. So, okay, right? So then now, uh, and then the key, well, one thing before we implement is, okay, now we have an idea. Can it be implemented in a feasible way? Because now we simplified a lot of if cases because this is just going to be a standard um, foot fill algorithm, right? Or, or, you know, you could use union fine, you could use whatever, but it's connected, con uh, uh, um, connected components, right, or connectivity, or whatever. A couple of ways to go about it. And the, f the first thing to do is that, okay, well, foot flow is easy. It is linear-ish, right? Um, I say linear-ish because it's V plus Y, but in this case, Y is just going to be uh, four times V because it's up, down, left, right, right? So so, that, so that's linear. Um, but we still have to do the thing where every square of input, we get nine things now, right? One square turns into nine square. So we have to kind of take a look at the constraints to see whether that is good enough. Um, the reason why if we didn't have to do it uh, times it by nine, it's going to be linear and linear. Usually it's going to be good enough, right? Just because you still have to read the input. It's not going to be any faster than that for the most part, unless there's some structure that you can really, really exploit like binary search, for example, we've sorted. But like leaving those examples of, of, uh, aside, it is always, linear is always going to be mostly good enough. Always mostly. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, N is dirty. So, um, you know, so that means that there'll be 900 cells and 900 cells times nine is going to be okay. Right? That's just uh, 8,100 um, or 8,100 uh, super cells or whatever you want to call them. Or zoomed in cell maybe so uh, so yeah I think that that should be good so let's let's get to it um, I I know that this is n and, and it is square but I still I think I, I keep on making mistakes when I, I uh, write n just because so much muscle memory that I still kind of write it this way uh, and for the most part if the algorithm doesn't require me to sp specify that it is or like if the algorithm doesn't require the input be a square, then I don't really, I don't know, this is why I write it that way. Right, and in this case, like the, the um, being a square doesn't actually matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then now we, let's create a new grid. So, and grid is equal to say, um, I guess just force, right? And, and by force, I mean like true force, whether it is felt or, you know, whether there's a block there, right? So times, uh, normally we'll write something like this, but now, as we said, we want to times it by three, right? Um, to to fill in the nine boxes, and then now it just becomes for x in range of r for range of c. Then uh, if grid of x y is equal to do, 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 uh, so there are only two slashes, right? So if, if it's equal to this, then now we want something like, um, well, we just have to figure out how to, um, you know, how to, uh, it's not three, right? I don't know, it's, uh, no, it is three. Yeah. Um, plus, so this slash is, I guess the other one, let's do the other one first, just because it is, uh, um, is this good enough? No, I think not. Yeah. 
um because it's a little bit straightforward so then this is you go and you can maybe write this in a for loop but uh but you can see why this is the case uh i, I guess we did a similar oh yesterday was magic square right so yeah and then else if grid x y is you go to this thing then same thing right pretty much except for now it's in the other diagonal so we want this to be plus two this to be plus one is fine and then yeah and you can kind of work out why this i, mean, I, I think it's pretty straightforward uh to visualize um yeah and then now we just want to see whether things are good right so um yeah and then this is just regular co connected components in fact huh I'm just kind of curious because I think when I was starting out, when I was you know learning algorithms, um, a lot of problems were connected con components problems. But I feel or like count the number of components or something like this. But I feel like I haven't seen like they haven't come up that often for whatever reason. Hmm, I don't know. It's not really a big deal or a big issue, but it is kind of curious. Uh, but yeah, so maybe I would just have like components is equal to zero, and then for x in range of um, the new r, so you know something like this um, and you don't have to be that careful about it because we have a, a check for this right which is that if this is not not done then we can yeah uh, we increase components and then we just fill uh, x y right and at the end we return components of course we have to implement fill and there are really uh, two ways to do it um, Two main ways. I mean, I guess you can also use uh, union find if you had set this up differently, but I didn't set it up differently. I set it up this way. So you could use this uh, recursively or with a queue. Um, either way, it really doesn't matter that much. I guess depending on platform and languages, if you do it recursively, it can definitely have a huge uh, depth, right? Which sometimes may give you like stack errors or something like this but for the most part i don't think it matters that much but for that reason i will use a q um and yeah and oh yeah and we have to set the direction as well which as we said is the same thing as uh up down left right for this particular case and this is something that we set up right so you have to be careful i mean and you can bring back up the visualization which i'm too lazy to do to see whether you can go diagonally and the way, reason why we set this up is so that you cannot do this diagonally right so we don't do that um yeah and then here we wanted to do q dot append uh, sxsy for the starting and and grid of sxsy is equal to true and then yeah and this is just standard buffer search um eh, register xy as you go to uh, Q pop left though it doesn't really matter if it's pop left or just pop because because it really doesn't matter because this is just connected components right it's not um, in fact yeah I don't think it matters either way we have for dx dy in directions but uh, yeah and you can definitely uh, practice yourself right so do, 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 do. keeping in mind that this is new R so it's this so maybe maybe I should be um, change the name of these things just because it looks a little bit awkward but oh well um yeah uh and this is not visited then yeah uh and then we just oh uh q dot append looks at y and that should be good and this just fills everything which is why it's called foot fill because you know, hopefully this is right looks okay um now before i submit of course i'm just trying to think whether there could be edge cases i mean there probably could be but um i don't know though so so maybe i am happy with this for now so yeah let's give it a quick submit looks okay 1593 day streak yeah and what's the complexity here i mean we kind of talked about this before we implement it uh, but this is just linear time linear space this is uh yeah and when i say linear of course i mean n square where n square is the size of the input so the size of the input is n square so the size of the output is n square and it is linear right um each cell gets visited once we look at four directions which is also roughly speaking an estimation of the number of edges which is also going to be n square um so yeah uh that's all i have for this one let me know what you think 
everything I wrote here is basically standard. I mean, maybe like, you know, I think the hardest part about it is just this part, which is slicing and dicing the grid up. Uh, otherwise, everything should be pretty uh, standard breath first search uh, or foot fill. I mean, breath first, uh, foot fill is the idea. Um, breath first search is the implementation, but yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow how I did on that, on, on this crazy uh, ultra marathon. Though it's just me and my friends, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, it might take like 10 hours, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye. One button.